Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sani Beauty here and I'm back with another video. So today guys, I'm back with another hygiene routine video. I haven't filmed one of these in a while, so I'm so happy to be doing this video for you today, especially because it is sponsored by Nordstrom. It's a one-stop shop to me. And today I'm actually going to be using the necessary set to do this hygiene routine. Nordstrom is working towards environmental sustainability. They are planning on taking back 100 tons of beauty packaging by the year 2025 and that's going to be amazing for the environment and that will help us move towards a zero waste beauty routine we can all be part of a zero waste beauty routine if we just bring in our empty containers to be recycled at a local Nordstrom or Nordstrom rack near you if you're unsure of what products can be brought in you can go to the beauty cycle tab on Nordstrom's website click sustainable beauty and they have a variety of products that qualify shout out to Nordstrom again for sponsoring this video I will leave everything linked down below and let's jump into this shower routine. So to cleanse my body, I'm going in with the Necessaire body wash in the eucalyptus scent. I love this body wash. This body wash had me feeling squeaky clean, like extremely clean, okay? <laughs> I loved it so much and I love the eucalyptus scent. It's really nice. It's not too strong or anything. Um, and I've been dying to try Necessaire products, so I'm so happy that I got to use it for this video. I'm using my exfoliating body towel per usual. I love this towel so much because it does exfoliate at the same time and get rid of dead skin cells. Next, for my feminine wash, I use the Dove Sensitive Bar Soap. And from my last hygiene routine, you guys know I love to use a white rag when I'm doing this because white rags do not lie, okay? <laughs> Right after that, I'm going in with a scrub. This is the beloved Coconut and Warm Vanilla Whipped Body Scrub. I've used this a few times and I honestly really do like it. It's a more gentle body scrub. It's not very abrasive. It's really nice and creamy and it's just so silky on your skin. And you can see it gives like a really nice like, I don't want to say lather, but it's really nice and thick. So it, it's on there, you know, it's not rinsing off as you're showering. It's really on there and it's on there until you scrub your whole body. So I'm just going in with that. A little really does go a long way. And I also love to exfoliate, especially on days when I'm going to be shaving. Because if you don't know, you should exfoliate your body before you shave. So I do my armpits, my legs, anywhere that I'll be shaving, I will exfoliate. Using my EOS Shea Butter 24 Hour Moisture Shave Cream. This is in the scent Vanilla Bliss and I love this shave cream so much. This is my favorite shaving product, honestly. I was using the pomegranate one before. This is the Vanilla Bliss scent and it's just so creamy. It, it just stays on the skin long enough for you to shave and it's not messy or anything, so I love it so much. And it does rinse off really well, it leaves your legs and skin feeling super silky. The razor I'm using is the Flamingo Razor per usual. Love it. Going in with my pumice bar, I'm using a little bit of native body wash on that. I'm gonna be going back and forth between the light side and the coarse side. I don't always do this, it's not like a daily thing for me, but maybe like once or twice a week because I do like keeping up in between my pedicures and yeah, my feet just feel really nice and soft and silky when I do this.
So after my shower, I'm just gonna dry off and I really make sure that my body is dry, like super dry and not damp or anything. And I'm just gonna put my robe on and do the rest of my hygiene routine, brushing my teeth, and then I'm going in with some mouthwash this is the Hello Activated Charcoal Mouthwash, and I almost swallowed it, guys. <laughs> I'm going in with my Foreo, which is the best cleansing brush I've ever used, and I'm gonna be using the CeraVe Essay Renewing Face Wash. And I'm just taking my hair out because honestly, I do not like to leave my hair in a scrunchie for too long because I wear my hair out and I find that scrunchies leave a dent. So as soon as I can just take the scrunchie out, I'll do that. I'm going in with the Pixie Glycolic Toner. I like it. I don't think I'm noticing too, too much of a difference, but I've been using it long enough and it hasn't been a problem for my skin, so I keep using it. Next, I'm using the Ordinary Vitamin C Serum. This is a newer product for me in my skincare routine. And guys, let me tell you, I love it so much because it has been making my face so silky, so soft and very glowy. I like, I love it. I've been using it for like maybe about two, three weeks now and I'm in love. I'm gonna follow up with my CeraVe Renewing Essay Lotion. I've also been using this product for over a year now and honestly, it is a game changer for me. I love the face wash in combination with this lotion. I noticed my pores aren't as visible anymore and I used to have a lot of texture on my cheek, which I honestly don't have anymore. So I will say the only thing that I've changed and has been consistent in my skincare routine is incorporating the CeraVe products. So A1, highly recommend. And you guys know I love my Summer Friday lip balm. I love that it's glossy and balmy and not sticky and it's so hydrating, oh my gosh. Now you guys know I love my native deodorant, but I always used to use the coconut and vanilla this is the powder and cotton. Let me tell you, powder and cotton is where it's at. This is so good. It smells so good and it's stronger than the coconut and vanilla. Like, I'm not going back. <laughs> Next, I'm going in with the Tux Witch Hazel Pads. I got this for my postpartum basket and I didn't know that a lot of people had this as part of their skincare routine. So if you know, you know, you use it for your feminine area. Moisturizing my body with the Necessaire Body Lotion and the Body Serum. These are both fragrance-free, which I love, and I mix them both together. Let me tell you guys, I was like blown away. I was not expecting to feel so silky and so hydrated with this product, but I did. I've wanted to try the Necessaire products for a while now, and I'm so happy I got to try them now. My skin was so hydrated, and it was hydrated for the whole entire day. Like even in the night, I couldn't believe how silky I felt. And because it's fragrance free, if you want to layer up something more scented on top, by all means, you can go ahead, add your perfumes or your scented lotions on top. It's a really, really good base to have on your skin. I would highly recommend 10 out of 10. And yeah, so that is my hygiene routine for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.